so there's a video on YouTube. It's a video short about Dr. <laughs> Kinley, uh, Dr. Harris from IDMR. Okay, so it's disturbing, <laughs> actually, because it's so cult-like and weird uh, that I, I have to talk about it because now I've been getting some feedback and being approached about what I've had to say about it. So it starts out with a picture of Dr. Kinley. It's supposed to look like he's on the front page of, a, of the Sun's Daily newspaper. Uh, you know, a made-up thing. And it says, uh, Saturday, June 6, 1931 at 9 a.m. You know, that's the time that he had the vision. Okay, so it says, breaking news. The greatest event to happen of mankind, God as man. Well, that right there is like, okay, a little bit out of date. If you were you were saying this, uh, you know, before Dr. Kennedy was teaching the true names, that would be one thing. Okay, so obviously this isn't something that's been endorsed by an IDMR branch school. I would I would hope not. Anyway, okay, so then uh, it it goes on to show Dr. a picture of Dr. Uh, Kinley and Dr. Harris sitting together, and at the top it just says Kinley. Dr. Kinley, Henry Kinley, God in a body, Dr. Robert Harris. So, you know, this is trying to equate the two. It says here, uh, Dr. Henry Kinley, God in a body, and it has a picture of, of Dr. Kinley at the top here, Dr. Harris just below him, and then Aaron Bryant at the bottom. Uh, okay, so then you have another picture of just Dr. Harris uh, in a tuxedo, and then you have uh, another picture of him, uh, Dr. Harris again. And uh, all the while, you know, the heading says Dr. Uh, Henry Clifford Kinley got in a body with a crown there. And then now you get this frame where it has Dr. Harris in a picture. Uh, I don't know, is, is it actually, uh, is that photoshopped or what? This is so weird. Somebody's put this big crown on his head. Or did he actually sit and pose with a crown like that on his head? I don't know. It looks pretty weird. I would hope he, he wasn't that crazy. I mean, he absolutely knew people were worshipping him. You know, and I think he set the precedence for it. And probably didn't mind. Okay, so then there's a... Looks like, I don't know, what is this? Like a card? Like a greeting card or something? Somebody's holding it in their hand. It says... uh it's got a picture of Dr. Harris holding a picture of Dr. Kinley, and it says, There is light inside you, and every day it just gets brighter. Okay, that's nice. And then there's a, a cake with a picture of Dr. Kinley on the bottom, and the portion is a, a red cake. It's like a wedding cake, sort of. <laughs> it's pretty pretty bizarre, weirdo cult stuff, I tell you. Uh, you know, nice picture and all that, but, I mean, this has really gotten out of hand. It's wacko cult-like stuff, absolutely. And then there's a picture here. It's a, it's a nice picture. I think I have a copy of this photo also. It says, uh, Heavenly Host. Uh, I can't read that. Something about... And, and then it says, The King of Kings at the bottom. Okay. So, uh, and then, the, then this other picture is uh, Dr. Robert Harris looking one way and Dr. Henry Henley looking the other way. And there's a paragraph of, you know, it's like, Maybe it's like a cute little poem or something somebody wrote. And and it says, color him love, color him father. It's weirdo stuff. Then this one, again, uh, Dr. Kinley at the top and Dr. Harris uh, just beneath him. And it says, uh, love is composed of a single soul inhabiting two bodies. Y you know, this is weird because they're trying to say that Dr. Harris is actually Dr. Kinley. Not that, you know... It was a Holy Spirit that was in either of them, but that it was actually Dr. Kinley became Dr. Harris, or or Dr. Harris became Dr. Kinley, I guess after Dr. Kinley passed, or they might say that he was him all along. I don't know. It's so very, very weird. And then the final frame has uh, you know Dr. Kinley standing behind the earth in the universe, and it says, the red man in the universe. And we remember the big controversy that they were ranting and raving over about a red man in the sky uh, because NASA showed the shape of a, that could have been likened to a man in, in the universe. But that red part was actually just um, a highlight from the computer-generated um, picture and, and that they 
intentionally put the red on there, uh, the astronomers that were, um, you know, depicting that. It was, uh, to, to them, this was a big revelation. Anyhow, I said all that to say, somebody reached out to me because I made a comment about this video. I said that it was cult-like behavior, that that's exactly what they are uh, describing here. They are just demonstrating total cult behavior, you know, man worship, 100%. And they told me, they said, if I did my research, that I would know that Dr. Henry Kinley, that everything he said came to pass. Well, okay, I'm not going to even uh, go there with you about that. That's one thing, but what immediately comes to mind is that you said that Dr. Robert Harris is Dr. Kinley. So can you say that everything Dr. Harris said came to pass? No, you cannot. I personally have heard Dr. Harris speak, and he said wrong things. He said that we had two and a half years till 1996 and that the world would end. He said that at the convention in Grand Rapids in 1993. I also heard Dr. Harris reaffirm that we didn't have long, at the subsequent convention, I think might have been in uh, Duluth, Minnesota. Uh, then Dr. Harris spoke at the 2001 convention, and he remarked how that people uh, had a gripe or a complaint about how all along we had been being told that we were, would not see the year 2000. You know, that the world would end by 2000, and here we are in 2001. But then he said, what you failed to do was you have to now add a day for a year and a year for a day. So he said that, uh, and where did he pull that out of? I mean, why, why all of a sudden you do this? You know, but this is his concept in a way for him not to have to admit that he endorsed something that was absolutely wrong. Yeah, I don't know who made up the 1996 thing. But he certainly endorsed it if he didn't create it himself. And then he was reciting this thing, that now you have to add a day for a year. So now this bought him more time to not have to admit that they were wrong about the predictions that they made. And then uh, I read this on the Internet, didn't hear him say this, but this was out from L.A., I her that you can read, and I read it for myself, that he said that 2010 would be the ultimate end because that would be a jubilee from 1960. So he just kept on pushing out, you know, moving the goalposts, so to speak, instead of just admitting, look, man, I was wrong. This is what I thought. I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry for those of you who quit your jobs. Those of you who didn't refinance your home or didn't go to college or decided not to get married or decided not to have children or decided not to save for your college fund for your children or decided not to save for your retirement or decided not to pay any of your bills or decided to take out a big loan. I mean, there's just so many devastating things that this caused. It cost the members of the Institute collectively Millions of dollars, if you do the math, absolutely, easily into the tens of millions probably. And the, lo the long-term effects of that was absolutely devastating. And it's a really, really bad look for the Institute of Divine Metaphysical Research reputation. This was your leader. This was the guy who Dr. Henry C. Kinley left in charge. And look what he did. What a horrible, terrible, awful thing to do to people.